Hi, YouTube. Rap Beef Jimmy here. Freaking <laughs> back again. With another uh, beef review. Mmm, so tasty. And from the land. This live You guys seem to enjoy the video I did a few months ago going over the dispute between uh, Cemetery from the Haunted Mound and freaking uh, David Shoddy. Even if it was more of a one-sided uh, schizo meltdown than a... Uh, a beef back and forth beef type thing. But I'm just a listener here, dude. I just like all of these artists for the music that they make, and I'm freaking... I mean, I'm just receiving the information because I'm chronically online here. The internet knows I'm interested, so it gives it to me, and now I'm giving it back to you. Smash that like button, and then we will go forward. Amen. And feast upon these nuggets of artist bickering. I don't know what I'm saying. Let me get you up to speed if you're not familiar, dude. Freaking Cemetery is a part of the Haunted Mound, which is a rap group. A scary rap group. Think of, like, Chief Keef's friend. The Glow Gang, but if they were from Hot Topic, Spirit Halloween type beat in 2024. I'm glad you understand, dude. Recently, he did this freaking interview uh, with some magazine, dude. I didn't actually read this whole thing until a second ago. Adam22 catches a stray here. That was interesting. I barely know how to read, but there's this one part here that people were responding to. Freaking uh, cemetery says, no personal beefs in need on record. I'm not rocking with redacted. I'm not rocking with fucking alt-right shit in the underground, dude. That's what the, the best I can offer. They need not make music anymore. And if I if I could, I'd make sure he wasn't around. So that means he said one person's name. But I guess we'll never know. Who is it? Who's alt-right Jimbo? You take it into your own hands, the reporter follows up with. And then he says, yeah. When I see these fools, it's on. And then the next question is like super random and out of pocket. What quality do you like most in a man? Loyalty. What the hell, guys, are we talking about? Can we stay focused here? Hey, so yo, the only yo. actual information that is given here is uh, fucking alt-right shit in the underground, and it's a man. Because it says, I'd make sure he wasn't around. But it's redacted. We could speculate here, but that's all we'd be doing. But Shed Theory took it upon themselves to respond, sort of implying that it's them, which is like, I don't know why you would... Maybe they know something that we don't, but freaking, I mean, Maybe he is talking about them and they just know. There's even a thread right here. Where is the evidence of anyone in Shed Theory being alt-right? Oh yeah, freaking for the folks at home. Shed Theory is another rap group. Their notable candidates of rappers would be like Joey. I got everything I need. I got more than I want. 200 milligrams. I'm about to touch God. Fans worship, but I don't want to be God. There's also Marlon Dubois and Ricky Chicks. And freaking, you might remember uh, my recent vlog in the green room at Fine Line where we I met their signatures, not to flex. How does it feel to be sitting where Marlon Dubois was once? Oh my. Of Shed Theory? Huh. Huh. Marlon Dubois? Huh. And Ricky Chicks? What? Bro. Ricky Chicks? I think he's a rapper from Shed Theory. They must have played here. Really nice John Hancocks. There's even a thread right here. Where is the evidence of anyone in Shed Theory being alt-right? Seems to be a big deal in the Haunted Mound some Reddit, but I've seen no evidence of this being true. I mean, their music is... They don't, like, sing about anything like that. Uh, Sam Hyde, that's literally it. And Sam isn't even confirmed to be alt-right. He just makes edgy jokes and blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's kind of, like, a common response that I have seen is their quote-unquote Oh, right, ties is like because Joey has worked with Sam Hyde, which is kind of random if you don't know these people. Minutes. Joey's had his new joke is nodding off. Yeah, that's my shit. Really? Like posting on Instagram. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> God damn it. That's so funny. Sam Hyde is like a canceled comedian who might actually be a bad guy. I'm not, I don't know enough. He had like a Cartoon Network show, or, or not a Cartoon Network, a freaking Adult Swim show at some point, but then was freaking canceled. But he also had a podcast where Joey was, I think, working on it regularly. I don't know if that's still happening. It's all like on Patreon or like off-site stuff, so I don't really follow it, dude. I've just seen clips on YouTube. I mean, maybe just knowing him isn't necessarily indicative of everybody. I don't know. That's the only reason I've seen, and I think all of these guys are sort of... Anyways, but that's that. Then we got the first first response to the it's on part of the cemetery interview this is woody he is one member of shed theory so baby judge hungry signs to lie i'm too fast it's so dirty it's right uh, if i die Fuck it. Are you guys keeping up? He said, it's on, okay, buddy. And then Ricky Chicks made this video, which was sort of responding to it, criticizing Cemetery or something. That's mad weird, right? Burn a cop car. Cop car gang. Facts. Burn a cop car. You know what's crazy, though, too? We all know if someone fucking uh, ran up on you or fucking uh, pulled up to your little fucking mansion crib, whatever the hell your mom and dad live at, you people are the first motherfuckers to call the cops. We all already know that. You know what I'm saying? We all, bro, 
burn a cop car, right? We all know the type of person you are, gang. Like, you're the first motherfucker to call the cops when shit goes south. We already know that, bro. Burn a cop car, right? Burn a cop car. That's fucking lit. That's fire. And then you go and buy. That's fucking lit. Burn a cop car. And then your own motherfuckers asking us for pictures, right? Oh, I can't post because my boss is going to get mad. He's going to be tight. That's crazy, Buckshoot. That's fucking crazy. It's crazy, gang. Your own motherfuckers is fans. Burn a cop car. All right, well, you're going to see us at Summer Smash, bro. You're going to see us at Summer Smash, my friend. Burn a cop car, gang. It's crazy. Burn, bro. Right? For context, he's referencing a cemetery song called Burn a Cop Car. Burn a cop car. Burn a cop car. Only good cop is a dead cop. That's fucking lit. I guess he's saying that a cemetery is too soft to, to not like the police. We all know the type of person you are, gang. Like, you're the first motherfucker to call the cops when shit goes south. We already know that, bro. Burn a cop car, right? He kind of says the same stuff over and over for a while. All right, well, you're going to see us at Summer Smash, bro. I don't know you're what that is. see us at Summer Smash, my friend. Burn a cop car, gang. It's crazy. Burn, bro. I already know, man. I already know if any motherfucker ever ran up on you or that's what I'm saying, and walked on your property or whatever, you're the you got a three letter number on speed dial. You got nine one one on speed dial, my bro. All you got you probably on your fucking phone you click one and it goes straight to nine one one. That's I already know, man. I already know exactly the type of person you are. It's fucking awesome. The last two years you just have so you don't start problems with anyone. Heads, but Head's always got some shit to say. It's fucking lit, right? Head's always got some shit to say about us. What what the hell do we do? We mind our own fucking business. We make music. We drop music. We make music that no one else can imagine fucking even making. Your whole shit is you copy Chief Keef, bro. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, keep doing that. It's fucking awesome. Burn a cop car, bro. Burn a fucking cop car. That shit's fucking lit. Uh, and look, me, I'm gonna just stay drinking this, bro, when you burn that cop car. I already know you, you've probably never been arrested before in your life. You've probably never even gotten in trouble with any fucking police, but burn a cop car, right? Bad. Bro, you wouldn't survive one night. Fuck jail, bro. You wouldn't survive one fucking night in a precinct. Let alone bookings or fucking jail or whatever, bro. Bet. Burn a cop car, bro. Burn a cop car. No funny shit. I don't. <laughs> I just keep saying it. No funny. Burn a cop car. Come on, please. I mean, it's a little burn funny. A cop car posted. Do a music video where you burn a cop car. Don't do that. For no, again, don't do that. Ask us for a pick after, right? Don't do that. Who? Yeah, his artist didn't want to. Oh, buck his shoot. Little fucking master. Okay. Yeah. Buckshot is another member car. of the Haunted Mound. The easiest way I could describe him is like he's he's like Cemetery, but a, from Ireland. But basically what Ricky Chicks is saying is that Buckshot wanted a picture with them, implying that he fucks with them, and uh, the, the Haunted Mound is not as locked in as, as Cemetery might think. Yeah, that's awesome, bro. That's fucking lit, man. It's fucking lit. Yeah. Holy shit, bro. That's fucking awesome. Thanks again. <laughs> we will see you at Sorry. Summer Smash. No funny shit. Please. Please, bro. Like, oh my god. Just make one. In the last two years, have you ever seen us go for someone, attack someone? No. Heads just stay coming for us for whatever reason. I mean, they did redact it. We I don't know why. Who redacted it? The reporter? We make the most fucking diverse music in this music fit. You get what I'm saying? The shit we dropped. I oh, don't. Come on, like. Heads couldn't even fathom making it. This type of shit we do. Burn a cop car. I can't tell if he's just trolling me. You're the best. We fuck with you, no funny shit, you're awesome. I'm so confused. I, as I said, like, in Chicago, in a couple months, whatever, 
Let's just meet up and just burn stuff together. Wouldn't that be fucking lit? Yeah, this is unhinged. But he basically says, uh, cemetery is soft and has never been to jail and probably doesn't burn cop cars regularly. Oh, and then they posted this picture of cemetery when he was a baby, I think. Babies don't burn cop cars, am I right? Dread versus Haunted Mound. Dude, it's Red and Lincoln. There's a little Wojak with Joey and, uh, the grave man. Red. R-E-D. Red. And we're just burn, burn. I already sucked it all out. And then this all culminated into uh, Woody and Ricky Chicks individually both dropping their own respective diss tracks. Uh, the Ricky Chicks one is called I'm the Butcher, referencing the Butcher House album by Cemetery. Let's give this a quick listen. So you wanna burn a cop car? Burn a cop car. Burn a cop car, gang. <laughs> For quick reference to the burn a cop car. Let's see you burn one. Just kidding. You need a chainsaw. This is why I thought that he was trolling before, though, because I'd never actually heard Ricky Chicks enunciate in a song. I thought, and I'm not hating at all, it might sound like it, I thought that was kind of his his bit. Like, he, like, like listen to it. Like, there's no words in this song. Like, I thought that was kind of on purpose. So he's saying that they, someone he knows sold cemetery fake drugs. Dude, who, what am I saying? Who cares? Okay, so that's pretty much uh, this uh, diss track. It's pretty good. I like it. I mean, it's not like good, but I do like it. It gets points off as a diss because I think it kind of highlights, uh, kind of sounds like he's like using cemetery swag kind of in a way that sort of validates it, if that makes sense. But anyway, let's freaking hear uh, Woody's diss track. Uh, called Not Redacting Shit. I heard this one first, but I remember it less. But the freaking standout dishes were from the last one that I remember were the fake drugs thing. Uh, is that a... You so fucking stupid, you can't even tell a fake. Why do you trust a soul in this game? It's all fake. I make ass shake like you a hoe. Like... Yeah, I like this one better. It sounds more like a normal Woody song, but I mean, I don't know. I guess the lyrics could have used a little more time in the oven. This could hold 10. Yeah, this I don't understand that. What is this picture? <laughs> you called us alt-right sympathizers? Well, you are gay. The logic is too advanced for even me. I don't know. Just suppose it. He ain't touch a fucking head. Sure, sure. Yeah, you get embodied on a cute beat. You get Hell embodied yeah. by a singing, by a singing athlete. This is probably the dumbest beef in the history of rap music. You're probably right. I think that's as far as the Shed Theory versus Haunted Mound beef has gone thus far, and let's just hope it doesn't go any further than that. I'm glad that something creative could come out of this. All of these y nice young men have bright futures ahead of them, and I'm sure and a little fentanyl between boys, fake or otherwise, is being buzzed. Thank you guys for freaking watching. Uh, <laughs> let me know if you guys uh, fuck with Haunted Mound or Shed Theory, or if this all just sounded like complete psycho babble to you. Thanks for watching. If so, anyway, hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.